In this video, we're going to have a look at VCA composite volume graphs, VCA automation, and coalescing VCA automation. So in this session, we have seven sound effects tracks, which have all been grouped, and the group has then been assigned a VCA to give us control. So as we discussed in a previous video, the VCA master provides an easy way to freely adjust the overall level of the group without overwriting or interfering with the existing automation on the tracks or committing to a trim pass. So it's very useful where you want to bring the levels of a whole group up or down by a certain amount. And you can see that now that I've brought the VCA master down in level, we have two volume automation graphs on each track. We've got the track's original volume automation and a second line in blue. And what the blue line represents is the track's actual fader level, taking into account the level of the VCA master. However, it's also possible to automate the VCA itself. So let me just quickly do this. I'm just going to do some quick automation on this section, just moving the VCA master up and down a little bit. Okay, so this is of course going to affect everything within that. And what we'll see once I've done this is those composite volume graphs on each track. And that will be, the blue line will be a sum total of that plus each track's individual volume automation. One thing to consider here is that after you've actually written some VCA automation, you're going to lose the ability to make simple level adjustments with the VCA because as you can see here, the VCA is of course following its own automation. So if we wanted to modify this automation at some point, we could switch to trim mode, which allows us to bring the VCA automation up or down and it will then of course add those two together or coalesce them. But another thing that you might want to do at some point is you might want a fresh starting point. So let's say I've written the VCA automation on this track, I'm happy with what I'm hearing, but at some point further down the line I might want to go in and have a clean starting point. So essentially a flat level on the VCA track. Now this is where you might choose to actually commit the VCA automation to the tracks. So that's called coalescing. Uh, you can do it a couple of ways. One way is to right click on the VCA master itself and choose coalesce VCA master automation. Or you can go to the track menu with the VCA selected and choose the same thing from there. When I do this, what you'll see is that the VCA level will be zeroed again. This automation will be removed and each track will then update to reflect its new automation level, which essentially will be what we currently see in blue. So let's do that. So there you go. So that's now the sum total, taking into account what we previously had on the VCA master, but the VCA has been reset to zero, so we can do subsequent passes or subsequent trimming on the VCA. And of course, if we wanted to, we could then coalesce. So you can coalesce as many times as you want, and that just gives you the ability to make subsequent passes on the VCA master. Thanks for watching.